Welcome back to my channel, New Growth Natural. So happy that you're here. It has been a while. Wait, let me turn on the lights for you. Renee, could you plug in this light for me, please? So you guys can see and hear me much more clearly. How have you guys been doing? So, the question for today is, Hi, Cynthia. Welcome to the live stream. How is your natural hair journey? Like, I want to hear it all. And you can talk to me live. I'll tell you about mine. You tell me about yours. And I'll help you as best as possible on your way. I know it's been a while since I've been on. Wait, you know what? For the lights to come on. There we go. <laughs> nice and bright. Hi, Jody and Riot. Welcome to the live stream. And thanks to the two person that gave the live stream a thumbs up so far. You guys are so awesome. All right, so it has been a while, it has been a while since I posted a video. I decided to come live because I miss you all, and also I wanted to talk to you live because sometimes I do not get a chance to go in the comment section these days often. But I'm happy. Hi, Simply Shell. Thank you, Simply Shell. Hi, Melindery. Okay, so Melindery says hi, Sam. I'm in the middle of my wash day, and your tips have transformed my year. Oh, that's so awesome! Like. Wash days are tough, but girl, hang in there. <laughs> but I'm happy to know that my tips have been helping you on your journey. And I'm here if you need more help. Just holler at me. <laughs> Hi, Patricia. Welcome to the live stream. Good afternoon to you. Hi, Tony Tinker. How are you, my darling? So if you're in the live chat and you haven't yet given this video a thumbs up, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. So I'm here at work. My sister, that's the person you just saw in the background. For those of you that remember, she's here. Hi, LRH welcome back hi terry i miss you guys too <laughs> all right so patricia said my hair seems to be stagnant all right patricia we've all been there well i've been there as well where my hair seemed to be stagnant but i'm pretty much sure, sure that your hair is growing it's just that there are a few reasons as to why your hair may seem stagnant in other words you may need to change your routine like your hair regimen as well as you may need to use a measuring tape because sometimes when our hair reaches a certain length it seems like it doesn't move but it actually moves also you may need to like probably get a trim do something like assess your hair and see what may be the issue as well as it can be your diet like you could slow down your hair good girl hi just jenny hi cynthia hi antonia i miss you too my darling don't worry you'll see the videos rolling out in short orders thank you cynthia Hi Celeste. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. So happy to be here. So happy to see you guys. Hi Eleanor. I'm doing well. Thank you. Hi Alexi. Welcome to the live stream. Hi Dorothy. I see you. What time is it in your country, Dorothy? She says I'm always streaming in the same time. Well, I'm happy that you caught me. Greeting, Colette. Oh, thank you, Melinda, for... <laughs> so she said, I love tutorial on trimming. I want to keep my hair healthy without cutting too much. Okay, Melinda, I am due for a trim. Like you can see, guys, I definitely need a trim. So, especially for Melinda and others that want to see that video, I'll show you how I trim my hair. What's the length of your hair currently, Melinda? Plus, I must say thank you for supporting my channel by donating to me by a super chat you are super duper awesome <laughs> okay so lr8 says looking fabulous i am getting growth and tangled with at tangled at ends when was your last trim lrh as well as do you keep your ends protected like moisturize and sort of tuck them away hi marilyn how are you my darling hi Faleka. <laughs> hi joy i'm so happy to see you guys like it's been a minute there so i have something pretty exciting to tell you guys thank you marilyn okay melinda okay you probably I, i'll definitely do a trim video for you thank you colette i miss you all all right so then um I need to let you know that I've lost so much weight. I've lost 20 pounds. <laughs> yeah, that's halfway in my weight loss journey. 
So in a minute, I'll stand and let you know what I look like. Like, for those of you that didn't know what I was looking like before, I'll probably post a picture on my page for you to see the before and after people. I am super duper excited. There is just one problem, which is a big problem, but I have it under control. Well, sort of have it under control. I find that whenever I lose weight, like a lot of weight, I lose my hair as well. It gets really thin. And I find that I'm starting to get thinner spots again. But I have it under control in that I started taking back my hair vitamins and also I'm taking hair, skin and nails. Girl, I'm bi I've been doubling up on that to make sure I have adequate nutrition, nutrients, should I should say rather, in my body to maintain the health of my hair. Like, if you all are on a weight loss journey and you have realized that your hair is getting thinner, it's normal. As in, it's normal that that would have happened. The, the way that you need to stop that or prevent that from happening, take your vitamins, yeah. Yeah, let's simply eat a balanced diet and take your vitamins. Drink lots and lots of water, like a gallon of water per day. Thank you, Deborah. <laughs> Hi, Khadija. Good day to you, my darling. Welcome to the live stream. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, guys. Yes, I'm, I'm feeling good. Like, I feel great. Like, the reason why I went on a weight loss journey, ap apart from the fact that I wanted to be smaller, was mostly because my weight has been affecting my health, not just physically, but also mentally. Like, for example, you guys know I stand for long hours, and because of how heavy I was, my joints would hurt, like my knee and my ankle would feel pain, and my chest would feel like I'm tightening up like tightening up sometimes and so many things was going out of place i feel great since i start working out changing my diet and everything like this is the best thing that has happened to me for a while you may have not seen me um doing videos and live stream for a while i promise you i'll be back soon you just said i've been focusing on other little things that i needed to focus on for myself like personally for myself and like you can see guys don't i look beautiful am i not glowing <laughs> yes that's the good water i'm drinking the weight loss eating healthy and just doing me <laughs> you're welcome patricia yeah yes my dear all right, so Dorothy's asking, is it, in, is, it, is it enough to just take some amount of treatment on your hand and massage it through the hole here? I see someone do it, and this could, and this could be economical. Hmm. What's wrong with the hair, Dorothy? I'm not sure I'm following you. Yes, indeed, Marilyn, the anniversary is coming up. I should do something special for y'all. We should do, no, we should do something special together. What should we do for our YouTube anniversary, our YouTube anniversary, <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> what should we do? We should do something. Like I wish you guys were here in the Cayman Islands. We could go to the beach. Yeah, I like going to the beach. Yeah, we could have like a girls night out, eat good food, talk, do each other here, do those girly stuff, you know. <laughs> But since you're not, we have to do something on Zoom or live or something of the sort. I love the beach too, Khadija. All right, so my hair, like, my hair, I have been retaining length. But like I said, I have been getting thin, like, clumps of hair falling out of my head. So I've been having those thinning. But it has slowed down since I started taking the vitamins and, um paying attention more to having a balanced diet because what happens when you lose weight your body is banking on the supply that you have especially if you're not eating a balanced diet then you probably lose a lot of nutrients and your hair can be stressed out because of that i don't know if i explain it right but y'all understand what i'm trying to say so <laughs> hi diana it's a pleasure to see you to my girl i miss you guys so much <laughs> all right so go ahead and ask your question let me know how has your hair journey been i want to hear everything i want to hear the good the bad and the indifferent tell me about it i'm all ears 
I'm listening. <laughs> Hi, Sylvia. Welcome to the live stream. Hi, Talita. Renee, could you pass my phone for me, please? Let me show them how much weight I've lost so far in photos. So while my sister is getting the phone for me. Let me see your question. I'm waiting on your question. Okay. Okay, so Colette says, Hi Samantha, I'm a trucker. I can't shampoo my hair as often as I'd like, but I do keep it braided in flats. What do you recommend for moisture? Okay. Do you know about my shea butter recipe? Like, that's the best moisturizer since my spread. And it tends to work with all porosity. You just need to use a little bit less um, of the butter if you have low porosity hair, you know, that sort of thing. You can use that for moisture but if you're a trucker and you don't really like have time to wash and detangle and everything your hair out washing it in braid is perfectly fine i do that most of the time like my hair is a hassle to wash when it's out so i totally get you plus my scalp is sensitive but try my shea butter recipe i have a video of that like i have several videos of how i make that on my channel so you can definitely try alternatively so you don't have time to make that shea butter recipe, um, Colette, what you can do, you can actually buy the, let me show you which moisturizer that I find to be pretty good. Seeing that you have plots, this is the Talia Wajid leave-in conditioner. And I find that when you have plots, it's easy to spray on and go on. But you definitely, this don't have much of sealing, um, much of se any sealants in it. I guess it has oil, but it's not... I, for all hair type, I don't think it is enough. So what you can do is add some olive oil or castor oil or your favorite oil to the bottle of shade and spritz and you're ready to go. So that's the Talia Wajit, Wajit Upland Aloe Leave-In Conditioner. That's awesome, Cynthia. I'm happy to see that you're making making progress. So Marilyn said you can use e economical ingredients for deep conditioner. And be generous samantha as diy on the channel thank you marilyn all right so so well i cut my hair because i colored it and the color messed it up so i'm back to the beginning but that's okay enjoying the short hair ah i understand so so we all have that point in time when we decide to try something nice or something different and end up back at square one it happens a lot to me so yeah i know probably not color like I love colors, but if I color my hair, which I may, I'll use one of those waxy color that you just put on and rinse back off, so it's temporary. <laughs> By the way, if you want to see me use one of those colors, let me know which color you'd like to see me try. I'll probably try like purple or blue, like royal blue. Anyway, <laughs> let me continue. Glad to see you back as well, Susu. So Talita says, my hair journey is coming on. I have been washing my hair in flat. Awesome, Talita. And also, when you wash your hair in flat, Talita, try to follow up with a deep conditioner sometimes. And that is just going to make a world of difference for your length retention. So Faleka says, I recently trimmed my hair ends yesterday. Make one month since I have in mini twists, mini braids, sorry. Today I loose it out and currently I am putting oil on my hair. That's awesome. But did you moisturize your hair before putting the oil on, Faleka? Let me know. You're welcome, Colette. So Sylvia says, I started a new... Sorry, I lost. I lost Sylvia. You're welcome, Monica. Hi, Susan. I don't wash my hair weekly. Like, 
I don't think I need to wash my hair every week. I wash my hair the most every two weeks or once per month. Depends on how my scalp is feeling. But the thing is, I started working out and seeing that I'm working out, I get sweaty. So I try to wash my hair while it is in flat. Hi, Blue Blows. <laughs> Blue, Blows. Blue Blows said just join. It's been a year for me. It's been a year of me going back on a full-time regimen. I am doing way less this, this time around. No more fine rope twists and fine plaits for me. Don't have time to pull it up. Girl, I'm there with you. I used to braid my hair so tiny. <laughs> Ain't nobody have no time for that. <laughs> We're too busy for that. But I'm, I'm right there with you. So Sylvia said from March 6th. I've grown just over two inches I'm keeping a journal of my progress that's awesome Sylvia that's really really awesome and I'm so happy for your progress keep it up girl so Terry says I love those wax colors I'm shampooing my hair right now I had red I will be putting it back and love it yeah I actually never tried it on my hair I mean I did it on clients here but I never tried it on my hair just out of curiosity how long does it last the wax color how long does it last on your hair before you know it starts fading and start looking like nothing happened thank you auntie jeffrey so darcy says she's wishing to see somebody do conro on my hair Girl, my scalp is sensitive. I don't promise you that I'll ever allow anybody in my hair to do cornrows. But guess what? I cornrow my own hair sometimes. Well, it's been a while since I've done that. But maybe, just maybe soon I'll tr probably try and do some of those for you. Hi, Sil. So happy to see you, girl. How have you been? <laughs> Hi, Devine. So I have a whole lot of video on this channel on how to retain your length. How to retain hair length i think i need to do over my videos so this is this is the predicament that i found myself in i have got like 20 copyright strikes from youtube just because the music that i was previously using not the recent one that you hear me you know using with, with, with latour the one that i used to have with just the instrumental that i've been using since the dawn of this channel i guess they now have a copyright claim on it and i'm getting a lot of copyright emails from youtube about it the good thing is that i don't get a strike for it so it's not affecting my channel but i have to take down those videos or mute those videos so what i'll do i'll just make them over for you of course updated versions let me know if you think that's a good idea guys if you see me repeating some of my videos that's just the reason okay so blue blue glitter says hi sam being natural living here has managed to grow my hair to mid back i have 3c 4a 4b <laughs> i've been there <laughs> low density low porosity fine strand which i wear in twist braids what to get want to get to waistline any advice sure i have lots of advice for you on this channel i've done so many videos on how to retain length how to grow your hair your natural hair to waste it if i suppose to go into that i may not get to touch on everybody's question but you can check out some of my videos like with the topics i have how to grow long 4c hair how to grow waist length natural hair i have those videos a lot on this channel but i'll definitely make like i'm making note of these these um questions that i cannot get to go into now because of the time that they will you know take me to go through and i'll definitely be doing videos for you guys on those very soon so auntie jeffrey says for the past year i've just been using fenugreek spray and my hair has gotten so much longer i've learned to braid it and leave it alone that's awesome jeffrey that is the key straightening the hair treating the hair moisturizing the hair do a protective style and just leave your hair alone your hair will love you for it you'll retain so much more length that's awesome still have fun <laughs> yes sylvia i'll definitely be doing those videos for you thanks for your feedback guys
that's awesome for Laker. Mango oil is awesome. And water is uh, the best moisturizer to use. Hi, Robin. Praise the Lord. <laughs> That's awesome. So Robin says, using your DIY leave-in conditioner in my regimen has grown my hair greatly. Thank you. You're welcome, my sweets. And I'm happy that I could have been of help to you. Yes, my dear. But I'll be making videos specifically for those questions that are that are being asked that I cannot go through now. How do I do that, Marilyn? We can talk about that. You can give me that idea, like share with me exactly how to do that. So naturally focus is saying, hey Sam, whenever I twist my hair, it does not look voluminous. Can you please tell me what I can do to make it look voluminous? Please, I ask this several times, but I never get you to answer, lol. Okay, naturally focus. First question, do we have thick hair? Do you have fine strands or do you have thick strands? Do you have full hair? Okay, that's one thing. The second thing is if your hair is thin, like in terms of density, you don't have a lot of hair. My hair is thin, but people think that my hair is thick when I do it a certain way. When you're doing your twist, you want to use a product that, you know, is good, like a good twisting butter or twisting gel. I prefer butters over gel because i don't want the gel to sort of dry my hair out or lock it up or make it the twist too tight and then you want to lose the twist that here once let me demonstrate on one of these for her all right so the hair is out so once you have you want it to look fuller I'm going to show you my hair looking thinner when I twist it versus it looking fuller. Let's do thinner first. So if I want it to look thinner but stretch, I twist and while I'm twisting, I'm rolling it. Right? So I'm rolling as I twist. Sorry about the noise in the background guys, my neighbors. I have neighbors by the way i love my neighbors <laughs> i'm just apologizing for the noise that you hear all right so this is a tight twist because i'm twisting and rolling as i go and it is a stretch twist notice the difference between this and what i had before right so if i wanted to be voluminous like this like to give the impression like i have big hair thicker hair obviously i'm going to undo this and show you what i'll do Bear with me, the other guys that are waiting to get their question answered. Let me reach for a bottle. So this is a Shea Moisture Curl Stretch Pudding. I love to twist with this product. My hair loves it and my clients here love it when it comes on to twisting. So you want to get a nice product. That works for your hair. Not me, it works for me, me not necessarily works for you. Right? And you want to loosely hold the hair, like casually hold the hair, right? Two strands, just the same, because you're twisting in two strands. And you're just going to be overlapping it, spacing the, 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 the twist as you go. See, I'm not doing it close like this. I'm actually spacing the laps. So even though my hair is thin, it gives the impression that it is full because I'm doing it poofy like I'm not I'm spacing how I overlap the twist so you see the difference poofy versus when you know it was just me doing tight overlapping so that's why you get it to be more voluminous I hope I explained and answered your question effectively for you to understand what to do to get it like that That's awesome, Jackie. I'm, I'm really happy that I could have been helped to you. <laughs> That's a good idea still. I like to see sister locks. It does not for me because I like to play in my hair and let it out sometimes. Hi, Afro M Mystic. How are you? And thanks to the 45 person that gave the live stream that comes up so far. You are super duper awesome. And thanks to all those that have donated through Super Chat so far. 
I'm not done no so not awesome already. <laughs> Alright, so moving on to another question. MJ says, I saw my question is on the cinnamon essential oil. Which is better? The bark leaf or Hasio? Girl, I have no idea. <laughs> but I used to use cinnamon leaves, so I guess that's what I'm accustomed to. I've never actually used the bark. So Jackie's asking, am I on Instagram? Yes, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all as New Growth Natural. So you guys go out there. Whenever you miss me off YouTube, I guarantee you I'm always posting videos and pictures on Facebook and Instagram and sometimes on TikTok. So it's New Growth Naturals. New Growth Naturals for those in the back that didn't hear. So follow me on um, Instagram. You can send me a DM. Let me know that, oh, I heard you on YouTube and I send you a message. I'll say hi back and I'll say welcome. <laughs> but that's where I post, you know, a lot of pictures and, you know, short videos. You'll enjoy that if you miss me. Alright, so Afro Mystic said, is your hair blown out? I feel like if I blow dry prior to twisting, it looks fuller. My hair is medium, a lot of strands, but kind of soft with 80% shrinkage. Girl, I feel you on that shrinkage matter. My hair is not blown out. It's just a matter of technique. Maria, Gorda. Yes, Sylvia, that's true. Gorda. Hi, Joy. Gorda. Thank you, Cheryl. You're awesome. Okay, Tracy, I'm happy that I could help. Bye, Dorothy. Happy to see you too. that's it the, the, the difference between twisting tightly and loosely is when you twist your hair loosely it may not last last as long as the tight twist but it will look fuller and that's where you know using our product like a good twisting butter comes in it will help the style to last longer but between me and you i prefer fuller look because my hair is thin like my hair has length but in terms of density it's very thin a lot of persons think my hair is thick but it's all about tricks and trade. When you know what to do, to give it a certain look, then, you know, you know what to do. Hi, Janet. That's awesome, Janet. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Thank you for coming here. So, Sharina is asking, when am I going to be doing braids again on my YouTube channel? Very soon, girl very soon by the way if you guys are just joining i've lost 20 pounds ah! i know you don't have anything to do in here but i'm super duper excited so when you guys will see me i'm busy exercising i'm busy dieting <laughs> and other stuff of course because i have work and i have another life to live just the same but i'm super excited i miss you too abiola how have you been my darling Bye, Afro Mystic. Thank you, Rachel. Hi, Takesha. So if you guys really want to follow what styles I'm rocking, if you're not seeing me on YouTube, go over to Facebook and Instagram at Newport Naturals. I guarantee you'll see me and you'll keep up with me there. All right? So Devon, Devon is asking, Hi, Sam, which is the best twisting butter you would recommend? All right, that is tricky because when it comes to twisting butter and products that I use to twist here, it all depends on the hair type. Like person with, you know, thicker, coilier hair, like type 4 hair, I like to use that product. It's not a twisting butter. It's more of a curl stretch pudding, but it's excellent for twisting. That's Shea Moisture product right there. When it comes to person with looser texture, like thinner, finer strands, there I like to use a male custard. That's a male curling custard. I like to twist with that product. When it comes to a person with thick strands, but not necessarily um, thick hair, I like to use a can to lock and twist butter. When it comes to persons with loose curls like type 3 or 3A to 3B texture, I like to use the Ores lock and twist gel for that type of hair. So it all depends on your hair type. And because, you know, I've been in the natural hair industry, I am a natural hair specialist. So, you know, I've been styling natural hair for a while over time it comes with experience you know exactly what to use for what hair type 
based on you know trial and error based on experience based on you know the things that you learn about your types i'm happy that you're okay now bless i'm so happy to see you it has indeed been a minute <laughs> hi all right so, so she said good afternoon from clarksville tennessee four c here growing in plots using your diy leaving washing two to three weeks thanks for all you do you're welcome my darling you're doing it i'm proud of you guys i'm happy too marilyn i'm happy that i'm taking care of me i spend so much time taking care of everybody else that i felt like i was gonna die in that process like if i don't take care of me I won't take care of you when i die <laughs> god will take care of you. you're just messing around but yeah i've been taking care of myself thank you bless yes abiola <laughs> i lost 20 pounds 20 pounds i still show you what i look like now <laughs> Hi, Harnet Foster. So Harnet Foster want to find out. Um, thank you for loving my hair, Harnet. What can I do to get the shrinkage out of my hair? Let me tell you something, Harnet. Shrinkage is one of your best friends. Love it. <laughs> but if I understand you clearly, I'm thinking that you don't necessarily have a problem with your natural hair. You just want to keep your hair stretched. I get you. I have you covered. Outside of blow drying your hair, you can do African threading, you can do plaits, you can do twists, you can, you know, band to knots, and that will help to keep your hair stretched. As it relates to shrinkage, girl, once you have natural hair, once you have healthy natural hair, shrinkage is a must. There is no getting around it, so just embrace it. I tell my clients all the time, listen, when your hair shrinks, like when you have healthy hair and it shrinks, one day, just one day after consistently taking care of that hair, when it shrinks, it's going to look at look like the length that it was that it was meant to be when it's shrunken like if your hair is done to your butt when it shrink it's going to be like mid back length and it's still going to look long so just embrace the shrinkage shrinkage is your friend you cannot get away from shrinkage if you have natural hair it is impossible unless it is not healthy but healthy hair shrinks so sorry <laughs> Hi, Kadian. How are you? So, Div Divine is asking, how much we can you keep one protected style for? Divine, that's a tricky question. It depends on your scalp condition. It depends on your regimen. For example, I plait my hair and sometimes I keep those braids in for four months. But the trick to it is that even though I'm keeping in those braids for four months, I keep my hair moisturized. I deep condition, I wash it, I take care of my scalp, never do this. I make sure that my protective style is, you know, doing what it's supposed to do, protect the hair. So if I'll go around the edges and redo them, make sure that I remove the lint and stuff like that. So it depends on the protective style, it depends on your scalp condition, it depends on your regimen. So I would say keep it as long as you can, provided that you're taking care of it, provided that your scalp is healthy. <laughs> So, is that Janine is saying, do pomade moisturize the hair? I use a leave-in followed by a butter, but my hair is dry after four days. Would a pomade on top of the butter help? Ah, oh, girl. Pomade don't moisturize the hair. They are sealants. Oils are sealants. A lot of the butters are more on the sealing side than the moisturizing side. When it comes to moisturizers, you want to stick with products that are water based or have like the first two or three ingredients to be like water that is going to be moisturizing to you here but depends on your hair's porosity you may need to pay attention to the type of products that you use to moisturize your hair for example if your hair has high porosity you want to moisturize and you want to use a heavy sealant to sort of lock that in there because it means that your hair is going to be losing that moisture just as easily as it gets moisturized if you have low porosity you may want to pay attention to the type of products that you put on in that you want to use lighter oils lighter moisture leave-in conditioners lighter products you want to use products that don't have a lot of protein on them to leave on your low porosity here you want to make sure you clarify your hair regularly do a regular deep conditioner do steam your 
really do like the greenhouse effect to sort of lift that cuticle layer to get the moisture in the strand if you just if you have low porosity here so it all boils down to your hair's porosity and it all, all boils down to choosing the right product whether it's really a moisturizing product or a sealant which i hope i understand i explained the difference to you so bless is asking how did you lose 20 pounds did you do green girl i walk almost every day like five o'clock in the morning i'm on the track i walk i try to do like twelve thousand steps per day consistently and then i change my diet so now i'm only having like three servings of vegetables i have a balanced diet like no snack in between i drink a gallon of water per day so a gallon of water per day no snacking in between meal i cut out sugar the only sugar i'm consuming now is from fruits which is like those fruits that are low in sugar like apples pear berries and stuff like that and i don't have too many fruits on any given day like ripe bananas that i love so much i probably have half of a ripe banana every now and again not an entire ripe banana and then i'm having like three servings of vegetables at my meal time you know like half the size of my hand of protein i'm having healthy fats like a thumb size of avocado or nuts and then you know like a little bit of carbs like probably like a piece of sweet potato or like one finger of boiled banana and that is one meal for me like i do two meals per day and then what has really helped me a lot is intermittent fasting so once i have my last meal which would be like five to six o'clock in the evening i'd go to my bed and i won't eat until 12 o'clock the next day two meals per day so after that 12 o'clock meal i drink my water like two hours after and i keep on drinking water throughout the day before and after and then the next meal would be five six o'clock and then until 12 the next day and i think that has really helped me along with you know the exercising it's 80 percent diet and more like 20 percent exercise so pay attention to what you're eating sugar and carbs once you get those under control and eat more greens and vegetables and you know healthy protein healthy fats you'll be on your way girl you got this <laughs> that's what i did well, uh, you know, I'm no fitness coach, right? I'm all about natural care, but I'm just sharing because you asked me what I did personally. Oh, and just in case I forget to mention, I read this book that really helped me a lot that I told you guys before about 90 pounds lighter. It is also on Amazon. You guys can go and purchase it. You know, you can read it online or you can purchase the hard copy, but it is there, 90 pounds lighter. It's a really great book, small and precise and it has detailed information on how to lose weight you know healthily and quickly so evelyn says hi samantha your hair is looking good be blessed thank you evelyn so devine says how many weeks can i keep our protective style okay i think i read that one already so takisha says hi sam i want to say thank you for truly inspiring me to Say, to stay on my natural hair journey god bless you you're welcome <laughs> you have been like the win in my seal guys thank you carlette charlotte she says you're looking beautiful all your hard work is paying off girl thank you carly says okay thank you samantha do you advise the use of onion juice for hair growth onion juice has great stimulating properties if that is your thing like if you can stand the scent of onion juice why not you can give it a try but if you're not eating healthy if you're not taking care of your hair overall onion juice may not be able to do very much for you i prefer if you allow your hair to grow organically by eating healthy taking you know hair supplements or where you know where's a lacking if it's like you want to state your growth i would prefer if you use um less harsh stimulants like probably rosemary oil and stuff like that but if that's your thing if you can deal with it then fine it is it's a good stimulant for here yes abiola it is a part of us girl you're getting it <laughs> so bags girl so where you been girl i've been minding my own business <laughs> just kidding <laughs> I've been busy doing me, taking care of myself, losing weight, doing other stuff. But I did miss you guys. I did miss you. I can't lie. By the way, thanks to the 66 person that gave the live stream a thumbs up so far. I'm not done noticing the awesome already. <laughs> so Ming Tuo is saying, hey, Samantha, wearing protectives, protectives 
and careful detangle and trying out different moisturizing techniques and routine that's awesome let me know how that works for you what is the difference between regimen and routine they're pretty much similar regimen is you know a plan that you you know you come up with to to take care of your natural hair you know to maintain the health of your natural hair whatever same thing routine you can use them in they're the same thing regimen and routine is the same thing <laughs> Thank you, Marilyn. Yes, Rosalyn. I only recommend hair vitamins for hair growth for two reasons. If you have alopecia, number one. And number two, if your body is not absorbing the nutrients from the food that you're eating well, like if you have a medical condition, or you're not eating like in your country, you don't have abundance of healthy foods, and you need to go ahead and take a vitamin, fine. But I do believe that the nutrients that your hair need, you can get them from food. But you need to eat healthy. So if you're not eating a balanced diet, then go ahead and take vitamins. But I think you should just eat healthy. I don't know. <laughs> eat healthy. Oh, of course. And if you're like probably go through pregnancy after to prevent, you know, like postpartum hair loss. Or if in my like in my case you're working out and you're losing weight, you can go ahead and take vitamins. So it does have it it does have its place, I should say. Thank you, Janine. Sorry guys, I'm using a call. Hi, good afternoon. Yes. Okay, when do you want it for? What time, sir? All right. All right, thanks for calling. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye bye. Sorry about that, guys. Let me put down that appointment before I forget. Because I will forget. guys good so Donna is saying my hair is constantly falling out what should I do is your hair like shedding Donna like shedding out of the ordinary because if that's happening it could be a number of reasons it could be due to stress due to medication due to health issues due to so many things so I'd suggest if your hair is falling out like excessively more than what it normally you know normally happen that you that you see a doctor once you're able to figure out even if you don't see a doctor if you're able to figure out what's causing your hair to shed then i can you know suggest a means of treating it but topically you can use like green tea or caffeine like coffee or anything like that to slow down the shedding but definitely you should check out what's happening internally So I'm trying to go through the question. All right, there's so many. So tell you what, guys, it is 43 minutes into this live stream, and sorry I have to go because of my next appointment. I have been sitting here for almost an hour talking to you, which was so amazing. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> I am aware that there's a lot of questions that I did not answer because of the time I spent answering other questions. But I promise you guys, leave it in the comment section below this video. If you come on even to watch this live stream afterwards, leave your questions in the comment section. I'll get through to them. I'll comment on them. And even if I don't respond to your comment, look out for a video. I'll definitely do videos that answer your questions. Until next time, guys, remember, Jesus love you, so be very good. And I'll see you in another live stream or video. Be blessed. Ha, ha, ha.